first of all i am not your pet i am not a sofa in the showroom that needs to be felt to see if it's good enough to buy mm -hmm. Unbox and welcome to Fur Tales. So, this is the segment of my channel dedicated to hair care stuff, and today you're going to be getting ready with me. <laughs> so, while getting ready with me, I'm also going to be sharing some things that you should not do to somebody with natural hair. They've happened to me before, I didn't like them. And if you relate to any one of these things, then definitely comment which one you relate to subscribe <laughs> hit the thumbs up button and let's get this video started okay so this is what my hair has been looking like <laughs> it is not the best but then that's what's going on i literally don't have anywhere to go so after wash day i just like do the heat so my hair is stretched there's less room for tangles and all of that stuff and then whenever i want to take down my hair to style for any video or webinar or something like that i can have a fairly frizzy braid out so i'll take a braid out okay so um let's start first things first i'm going to be moisturizing my hair loc all of that stuff and this is our this is what i'm going to be using so there's this Okay, that is Lotta Body Fortifying Me Strengthening Leave-In Conditioner. I've been using this for a while and I actually love it, as you can see. And then I'm going to be using Shea Butter. Shea Butter. And I'm going to be using sunflower oil, like directly from the bottle. Because I normally do oil mixes, but right now I, I don't have one at hand. So I'm just going to use the closest thing that I use and I actually like. So, let's get started um first of all i'm going to be sharing things that people have told me and then i'm going to be sharing things that i got from a couple of friends too so i don't exactly have personal experience with everything but then these things have happened to naturalistas and it has to stop it has to stop okay don't do it don't okay let's start Okay, first things first, I'm going to be spritzing all over and then I'll just keep on going. You're going to just see how I'm doing it. So today I'm going to be sharing one, two, three, seven things. Seven things that people do to people with natural hair. Like it may actually be somebody with natural hair too. It may be somebody that does not have natural hair, maybe low cost, relaxed, or somebody from a different race. But those are things that people have done that I have experienced and it was not a fun experience, it was a very annoying experience. So I would like if we can stop because it's not cute, okay? It is not cute. So first thing is, well, this has to do with don't touch my hair, people that touch your hair. First of all, I am not your pet. I am not a sofa in the showroom that needs to be felt to see if it's good enough to buy or something like that. So, why are you touching my head? And the worst part is without, it's almost always without permission. Like it's different from people that they're like, oh, can I touch it? And then like, I have the right to be like, no or yes i don't mind but these people they just like out of nowhere just go like hmm and then they just give you a scalp massage without you like your opinion like okay i know i know you are practicing to be a masseuse but then don't use me to practice <laughs> okay it's not cute and then if that was not bad enough there is the people 
that pull your hair to shri like to see shrinkage and if that is not bad enough there's those people that pull your hair to see shrinkage like oh you know i've been seeing about shrinkage from somewhere 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 and then now they are going to use your hair to practice or to see if you know shrinkage is real or how much shrinkage can affect you or okay i know how much shrinkage affects me i'm fine don't touch my hair don't pull my hair don't mess up my hairstyle like you don't know how long it took me so can you just keep your bacteria laden arms and hands to yourself please thank you very much <laughs> it's very annoying but then it's fine it's fine this is your education video so you know not to do it again so let's move on let's move on that's the first two things so now moving on and this is actually very annoying so let me just talk a little bit about my hair journey it was something that i didn't exactly do it with all the support like my mom was cool like my family was cool but then like friends and all those kind of things they were not exactly like oh yeah happy transitioning everybody supporting me it was me doing it and people being like oh your hair is going to be so hard your hair is so hard your hair is so hard and then after i went through all of that struggle then somebody is not coming to tell me your hair is so long you're just showing off you're showing off i'm going to cut it i don't even like it borrow me small now It may be jokingly, it may be fun for you, but for me, it's not fun. I'm shy, naturally. So I don't like being the center of attraction. And then, this is now worse than me being the center of attraction. Because now this is people that are already making threats to me. That they will cut my hair. I worked hard to get my hair where it is. Like, it's not that... I think I'll probably do a length check. Like, it's not that long or anything but then i'm happy about where i am and i'm finally being proud of where i am and then i just want to be able to wear it out in peace without people telling me i'll cut your hair please don't say it i have literally had nightmares about this like it's not even funny like <laughs> it's not a joke it's actually very annoying and triggering and please just don't say it like if you want to compliment somebody's hair, then be like, oh, your hair is really nice. I like it. I've had compliments like that. I like them and I appreciate them. But then when you're making the compliments and then it's getting to a place where you're trying to make me feel bad by telling me, oh, you're showing off or by telling me, oh, you're going to cut my hair because you want to add it to your own or something like that. It's like, it's not really cute. It's kind of weird. So don't do it. <laughs> okay 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 let's jump to the next one okay so i'm just very quickly going to apply the oil okay and then i'm doing it in sections because it's easier for me than having to loosen each section and then apply the oils one by one that gives more likelihood for tangles and all of that stuff and I don't got that time, okay? So, um, that's what's up. <laughs> Just oiling my hair. And I did a mini length check sometime on Sunday. And I actually was happy with what I saw. Like, generally, you're supposed to always be happy with what you see because it's your hair and there's nothing you can do about it. But then it actually looked like I had retained some length since the last time I did one which was sometimes last year but then that's cool that's cool okay so next thing I dislike is people who come at you telling you their whole life story and then it's annoying because it only happens well it generally only happens when you wear your hair out and then it's like they're showing the full glory slash length of your hair and then now have these people coming to meet you like oh my hair could have been longer than this my hair could have been fuller than this my hair could have been 
something other than this. But it is not because um, I cut my hair. Or it is not because um, it's so hard. Or it is not because... Um, and then they start telling you excuses <laughs> that you didn't even ask for. Like, I'm not holding you accountable to keeping your hair or something. I don't know, like, we are not in that kind of accountability group or something. So why are you coming to be telling me, oh, my hair could be longer, but I did not do this, or but I decided to cut it because I was tired or something. I'm like, okay, thank you very much for the information. Now what am I supposed to do with it? And it's very awkward for me. I feel like if I'm the only person that that happens to, that would be weird. Because I've really had it happen to me a lot of times. People come and tell me, oh, um, my hair could have been this. Or oh, it grows very fast, but I just don't, like, do this. Like, if you're coming to me to ask me for, oh my god, y'all. Like, this is, okay, let me just get this out of the way. Like, this is a braid out without, like, gel or anything like that. And it looks really nice. So I'm proud of it. So, um, let's continue. And then those people come and they're telling me like, their life story. I'm like, okay. And then what even makes it worse is the people that now come. Like these ones, they are telling you their life stories. But this one, they are coming to discourage you on your life journey. And then they are like, ah, you're sure you will, this is your hair. Like, it's so hard. Like, how are you taking care of this? Like, natural hair is so hard. Like, I can't even imagine doing this. I'm like, okay. Well, I did not ask you to imagine it. I did not ask you to try it. I did not ask you to do it. So why are you now telling me about how hard it is for you? to think of how hard it would be for me and how or why I should not I don't even know you know I like it's just very confusing like what is the whole point of this conversation and then there's those people that are like oh your hair will be so much longer if it was straight and I'm like it is literally the same length I just have shrinkage it is the same length straightening your hair does not make it longer it does not add any inches it just eliminates the shrinkage for a brief time until water comes and then i'm not really interested in that like i can't remember the last time i put it for my hair maybe like 2015 that was a long time ago so it's my choice and i decided not to so leave me alone don't come to meet me and be telling me what i should do to my hair all those people that come and be like oh your hair is so long i would totally style it in this way and i'll style it in this way you don't style your hair as much you don't do this i'm like who is the owner of the air <laughs> you understand leave me alone <laughs> like i know what i'm going through in my life and how much time I have to dedicate to styling my hair and doing different fun stuff with my hair. And actually, the time is not much. For me, it is not much. Ooh, child. It's not much at all. So I don't, I don't stress myself with doing extraordinary styles, except I really need to. And then it's because it's going to take a lot of trial and error. So like, I don't have that time, you understand? <laughs> So like, that's one thing that pisses me off. If you really want to do one million styles or something like that, then do it on your own head. Not coming to tell me what I should do and what would look nice on me and all of that stuff. Like, if I really, really needed your opinion, I would ask, like I would, I don't even mind, I would ask. Like I have a group of friends that I would send them pictures, I'm like, oh, this one, this one, this one, which would, which do you prefer, which would look better? Like, if I really needed opinions, I would ask. The fact that I did not ask you, or I haven't asked you, means that either I don't really value your opinion, or I'm just, like, not interested in opinions at that point in time. Okay, okay, okay. So let's do a mini length check type of thing. Uh, okay. Okay, so next. Um people that tell me what my hair type is. 
there is so much of this on instagram and social media and everywhere like that's one of the reasons why i have not done a defined hairstyle or trying to define my curls and post it on social media because I can already see all the people coming to tell me, no, this is not fussy hair. Fussy hair does not look like this. Fussy hair is not curly or fussy hair is not moisturized or fussy hair is not long or something crazy like that. And this is just me like, okay, fam. <laughs> okay, you do you. Have your fun. I, I, I didn't ask for your opinion. Like, I know I didn't come out to be like, oh, I'm looking for what my hair type is. Like, obviously, there is a lot of people that they obviously don't have type 4 hair or they have like 4a hair and then they masquerade themselves to be 4c but then i know what my hair is and i'm confident in what i know so if i do not come to ask you for opinions on what my hair is then don't tell me your opinion my hair is a convolution of hair types. By convolution, I mean every other place, like back side, every other place is literally 4C. And then the front has a weird thing. Like it does not hold a sensible like curl pattern in my, in, my, in my opinion. I don't like the way it is. I think if I can find a picture, I'll just add it somewhere here. But then I don't, I, it doesn't, it's not, I don't know what it is <laughs> but i know it is healthy because i have not used it on my hair in the past some things and all the hair i had before when my hair was relaxed and everything all of that has fallen out so i am 100 percent sure this is how the hair grows out of my head but it does not grow in any pattern that i can identify <laughs> so i know i am forcing every other place and then in front i am wilding <laughs> and that is my hair type <laughs> That is my hair type. So I don't need somebody to come and tell me, oh, this is not your hair type. And then trying to have a whole argument on my head. No. Like, I think it makes good viewership and all of that stuff. Because, like, the more engagement, the more um, people can, like, get paid or get noticed on social media. But then in real life, it's actually very annoying. Because, oh, okay, there's one more. Because, like, it's... I don't know i just don't like it there's people trying to limit you telling you your hair can't do this your hair can't do that i'm sorry but if i take care of my hair well then i can do whatever style i want obviously my hair would not look the same as somebody that has type 3 hair or something like that but i can still achieve the style i can still have a very defined look i can still be cool i can still be happy i can still look good I have healthy moisturized long curls even if my hair is fussy like it's not mutually exclusive or something like that it is okay okay mm, so what do you guys think <laughs> okay so now for accessories I'm going to wear this choker I got for my friend these and then lip gloss because I don't know how to do makeup and I'm not really interested in learning at this point in my life right now I'll learn obviously at some point but that point is not now by the way do you guys like my glasses I I got them a long time ago but then i haven't worn them officially until this week okay okay last thing before i am done with this video is something that pisses me off uh, hairdressers oh my god like you're supposed to be the professionals with hair care and styling and all of that stuff and then you really see these hairdressers like oh um uh just relax it now like i made my decision on what i'm going to do with my hair and now you're coming to tell me to change it because you want to do a hairstyle for me that would last me only three to three weeks or something and so that's why i should straighten my hair permanently 
because of a three-ray hairstyle. Fam, step back, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So like, I can't remember the last time I went to a hairdresser salon. Like, ever since I came to this island, I haven't visited a hair, a hair salon. I don't even know if they have that same attitude that those nasty people, well, it's not all of them, obviously, but then some nasty people had back at home where they were like, oh, shutting your hair, and then talking about how your hair should be hard to take care of. I'm like, oh, you're trying. So I'm like, I'm like, it's just hair. All you have to do is take care of it, like, wash the moisturize, and then you're fine. Obviously, there's other stuff, but then those other stuff are not things that you do every day or every other day. So, like, you're fine. <laughs> People complicate the whole natural hair thing so much, and I'm like, it's not that deep though. It's not. But okay, let's 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 not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about the fact that I'm about to be done with this style. I'm coming. Let me just quickly accessorize. So what did I miss? What what did I miss? Ooh, I came home to this head first into the political abyss. Head first into the abyss. Ooh, <laughs> I struggle with that part of the song every time, guys. Every time. I feel like. I almost got it this time, so I'm proud of myself. Okay? <laughs> okay, so I have a couple of things that are supposed to do with this look. And you will see that in my next video. I have a video coming up on how I'm studying for regular classes and then step one. And then I have a um, webinar coming up on foods for natural hair. So I'm supposed to take a thumbnail pic and hopefully something for instagram i look i, I, look, I look okay okay <laughs> okay 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 so thank you guys this is officially the end of this video thank you so much for watching and Okay guys, this is officially the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you related to any of the things I said, then just tell me in the comments. Tell me things that you had to deal with from randos that you would really like if it stopped. And they don't even have to be random people. It can also be family, because I know family can be annoying sometimes. Anyways, if you would like me to try any other look, then you should tell me. I may or may not do it, no promises. But then I'll definitely be posting more hair care videos and more webinars and more medical school stuff because that's Tony Unboxed. Okay, I'm done.